friends. This is Rebecca from the Syracuse Public Library. I am very sad that we can't meet in person today, but I'm excited that we can, I can share with you some of these projects virtually online and you can join in and do these from home. I hope that you will find them fun and interactive with the family and you can enjoy spending some time together. Today we're going to be talking about engineering, and I had picked out a couple books that I'm going to be working out of. The one is How to Be an Engineer, and this is in our nonfiction section here at the library. And I also have the Awesome Science Experiments for Kids. We are going to be building bridges today, but before I start our project, I was just going to talk a little bit about engineering. Do you guys know what engineering is? Engineering uses math and science to solve problems. They build some things so tiny you can't see them and other things so big they can house thousands of people. Engineers work with materials, structures, mach machines, transportation, and energy. No matter what your skills are, there's an engineering role perfect for you. Engineers come up with ways of doing things as well as, as well and as quickly as possible. Here are some tips to think like an engineer. Engineers always ask questions. Be curious and find out as much information as you can before you start a project. Engineers think about how things will look. Use your imagination to visualize exactly what you want to create. Engineers are precise. Always double check that you're using the right tools and the correct measurements. Engineers are confident. You will succeed if you believe in yourself and your ideas. Engineers regularly work in teams. You may prefer to work alone, but teamwork often produces some of the best results. Engineers are problem solvers. Never give up. There's always a solution to the problem. Engineers never stop. If you think an experiment or an invention can be improved, go back to it and see if you can make it better. So as I mentioned, we're going to be working on designing and building some bridges. And let me show you a picture in this book of some of the bridges that they are showing you. They show you some different type of bridges um, that are around the world. So one bridge that we will be making later is a suspension bridge. But before we do that, we're going to make design a bridge with popsicle sticks and clothes pins. As you see, I have the material out in front of me. And for that, I'm going to be using this other book, The Awesome Science Experiments. Okay, this is called a craft stick bridge. And what you'll need for this is a pencil and paper, jumbo craft sticks. If you want, you can find some binder clips and clothes pens, and then several books. So to start with, we're going to be designing our bridge with these materials and try to figure out the best way that we can design it. And we're going to test how strong the bridge is by putting the books on and seeing how many books we can put on top of it. So this might require designing several different types of bridges to see what works best. So the first thing you will need to do is Think through your design and your plan. Take your pencil and your paper and you can start thinking through how you want to design your bridge. 
I decided that I am going to use five of these close pins. Well, it'd be a total of 10 so that I can have five going across because I thought that would be a good length. So I can start putting on my paper how I'm going to design this. Okay, I have five here. And then I think we're going to put the popsicle sticks across it. I'll go ahead. I had some of this done ahead of time, as you can see. Okay, there's one more here. Oops. You might have to adjust along the way too. Um, some of it needs a little adjusting. So then my next thought is I am going to put the popsicle sticks across, but to get it to work right, I thought I would alternate the popsicle sticks. Or stagger, maybe that's a better word, back and forth. I don't know that this is the best design. It was just one that I'm trying out and seeing if it will work. Okay, now I'm going to go diagonally with the popsicle sticks. Well, it seems super strong right now. We'll see how it holds up later. Okay, and then I heard that if you use triangular patterns, that that makes it strong. So I'm going to give it a try. This seems like it's not very strong, maybe right here. So I am going to go ahead and put some triangular patterns in here and see if that will help make it strong. Okay, now it's time to test it out. Let's see how well it holds the books. Seems a little wobbly. <laughs> oh, we did hold one. Maybe it's not too bad. Okay, up to four, five, six, seven. Oh, this is stronger than what I thought. Okay, so I guess it held, I believe that was eight or nine books. But you might want to play around with different ideas of how you want to build your bridge and see how many books you can pile on top. Maybe you could call into the library and let us know or take pictures of your structure and show us so we can see what you do. Okay, so our next project is building a suspension bridge. What you will need is a long piece of cardboard, 
And I just cut some out of extra boxes that we had here at the library. Four cardboard tubes. I used paper towel tubes in the center of them. We need scissors. We'll need six straws that are similar sizes. Tape, string, and the last thing is popsicle sticks. I also have a pencil to mark my tubes for the measurements with a ruler. And I'm using a sharper object to help cut because I thought scissors might be hard, but if you're a little, you will probably want a parent or guardian to help you with um, cutting the hole in the paper towel tubes. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing we are going to do is we are going to make holes so that the straws, and I connected these a little bit, but you'll want to connect the three straws. And mine, the one was slightly bit big, a slightly bit bigger, so it just fit right through as well as this one. And I thought I might just go ahead and put a little piece of tape around those so that way they stay together. And I also need to make sure that it will fit along here okay. So I can know kind of the distance. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and put some tape around that. Since I'm eyeing it, I'm going to just kind of double check that that works. And I left a little extra because it's going to go in the cardboard tube. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is measure up here about halfway and I'm going to cut my hole so that the straws can slide in there. So it looks like it's about 11 inches, so I'm probably going to go five and a half in the middle. I'm going to mark where the five and a half is. Try to make it about the size of what I think the straw will be to fit in there. Might have to adjust it a little bit later. While I do this, um, I will read a little bit about suspension bridges. They're held up by steel cables. And I'm gonna, oops, I'm gonna try to use this exacto knife to cut very carefully. a little bit bigger. Let's see if I can get the straws to fit in. I don't want it too big where they slide because we want it nice and strong. Oop, it actually worked. I'm going to try to squeeze the straw in, but Since I stopped what I was reading, I'll go ahead and finish that right now. Suspension bridges are held up by steel cables. 
that hang from huge supports on either side of the bridge. The weight of the bridge is spread along the strong cables. And it says, how well will your bridge hold up? Eventually you'll do that on the other tubes as well. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is tape down the tubes to the cardboard. I'm thinking I'm going to use this tape, and if it doesn't seem to stay well, I do have some duct tape too. Or masking tape, I guess. To make it secure, I'm going to try to tape all the way around it. Let's go ahead and do the four. Turn it around so that I can see where this last piece of tape is going. Okay. Okay, so the next thing we need is the string, and we're going to make the cable going across the bridge. So we'll want to measure that out. What we're going to do is we're going to tape it down the side, but you do want some extra so it's a little bit loose. And then we'll go ahead and cut that. And I'll go ahead and get that tape down as well. That on the side. I think we want it a little loose, but okay. I'm gonna kind of have to feel it and play around. You might have to adjust a little bit too if you find that you need to reposition. That's fine. That's part of designing and figuring out what works best. Okay. Then the next step, we are going to tie smaller strings connecting the straw to the other string here on top of the cable cord. So we'll go ahead and connect those. And I'm going to cut five smaller strings for that. Let me make sure. Oh, I might need to go a little bit bigger. Trying to leave enough room so when it's tied, because 
when you tie it, it's going to take up some that extra room. We can always trim off extra if we need to. Now once you have that done, I'm going to go ahead and tie that around. This might be a little tricky, it might take a little time to get this, but you'll tie it like that. Okay, straw. And it should be pretty tight, so I might need to tighten that up a little bit. As mentioned, you might have to adjust a little bit as you're doing the project. things don't go exactly perfect or the way you planned and that's okay the shorter one I had. Okay, and once you're done with all five of these, you're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So you will cut the holes in the tube. And get the straws together and then tie, put your cable on top and then these strings. Okay, so some of these are gonna need to be tightened and I will adjust that. And then when you have the other side, we will Finish that off and then we'll put popsicle sticks across. Okay, so now I have both sides done. One thing you want to remember when you're putting the second tubes on is that you want to make sure that you distanced it so your popsicle sticks will fit across. Just a reminder that the cables that go across are made of steel and they often will hang very low or have quite a bit on the side for the support. Okay, so the final step that you are going to do is put the popsicle sticks across your bridge. And you may decide how many if you want lots. If this is something you want to permanently keep, I was thinking that you may want to put, have an adult help you put a little hot glue on the popsicle sticks and help you stick those down. But then you can also play around with this bridge like we did the other one and see if you can um, put some items on top of the popsicle sticks and see if it holds up. Books will be hard because we can't fit books in, but maybe you can come up with some other creative ideas. And when you do, please share them with us. So.
we would love to see how your project went and what you did with your bridges.